I'll be transferring some of my K-pop photo card collections. I'm gonna start removing photo cards from my old binder. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I find the Vault X and Ultra Pro binders to be a lot more secure. And it'll definitely keep these cards looking pristine and not be exposed through these top loading pages. I'm gonna keep this binder as something for inclusions. So photo cards will be stored in either Vault X or Ultra Pro binders while postcards and mini posters or any other inclusions that I do happen to collect will remain in these type of binders. And for the group cards, I might just leave them in here. I changed spots because my back was hurting being on the floor. I'll be transferring Espo Winter's binder because it's getting so full with all the inclusions. The pages are actually starting to bend at the ring because it's getting overloaded. So I feel like that's gonna in turn bend the photo cards. Okay, I'm gonna start transferring the photo cards into these new binders. I have them all in queue over there. So it's either Ultra Pro or Vault X binders. And I will start with this Vault X binder, they recently released a couple colors and I think they're expanding their inventory so more fans have a chance at purchasing these binders. So this is not the first pressed version of the binder but at least I get to have some kind of version of it because the color is beautiful. I thought that the colors of the Vault X binders Vault X or Ultra Pro binders really match some of the members in K-pop. I chose this color binder for Minji's photo cards because it looks kind of similar to her Powerpuff Girls color. And that's the front and back. Maybe in a future video, I'll put stickers on this. But right now, I'm just gonna add the photo cards into here. So this is the inspiration for this binder choice. I guess it matches this too, when she wore a Chargers jersey from the attention video. So I feel like we see Minji and Blue a lot. I know for New Jeans, a lot of time their member representative color changes. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what color is chosen because I'm pretty sure they're going to have some kind of merch or costume that represents different colors because even their light sticks, each member has their own color, but it's not always set in stone. So that's what I noticed, but because of the New Jeans video, the New Jeans music video, you know, the song New Jeans, it showed them in certain colors. And I actually don't have a binder for each of the member colors, but I try to get as much as I could, try to match as much as I could. But I have um, member colors for at least three of the New Jeans members. But like I said, it doesn't really matter what color you choose because it's not like it's their set member color and the photo cards in this video none of them are part of my new haul i just thought that it's a good idea to transfer the photo cards into these more secure binders wait yeah into these more secure binders before the big update and actually I think today, this video is recorded on Valentine's Day morning, but I think today Vault X is actually releasing another color in mint green. And I was debating on making that binder color honey since if you look at their bunny bio, bunny membership kit, or if you just look online in their bio, each of them mentioned their favorite colors. And... Honey mentioned she liked the color mint, so I was thinking I could get that. Um, 
I think Minji said she liked the color blue, so that's kind of also how I try to decide which binder to, what binder color to choose is based off whatever colors the member, the members like. And I'm kind of just placing it wherever. I think I had a lot of extra photo cards, so they were in the back. They're like double-sided, but um, I could always rearrange this in the next photo card binder update. So I'm just grabbing as I go, I'm just placing it. Then I'll worry about the order later. So some of these will not have the same layout as it originally had with like three in a row. So I'm just concerned with just putting these away and storing them properly in a binder so it won't get exposed to the elements too much. Make this three row. So now we're in super shy. I wonder when they're gonna release their next album. Cause it's no doubt that New Jeans has amazing songs every time. I'm unsure about this one cause I think it's an unofficial McDonald's card, but it's just gonna go here for now. So that is gonna be Minji's photo card binder. Next up, I'll be placing New Jeans Head and Binder into this green Ultra Pro Binder. And it's their Vivid Pro Binder line. So fresh, so clean. Okay, I figured out how to open it. Oof. Oh no, it went all over the place. Okay, so as you can see, I chose this binder because it's green just like the outfit she wore for the new jeans music video and her powerpuff girl character is green as well and like the minji photo card binder um because the old binder was double-sided and this one only has one side to display, the order might get a little, the order actually might change. So the row of light cards might be pushed back. So anything that is a little off will get fixed in my next photo card binder update video. This is just a transferring collection video. From Seasons Greetings on to OMG. And I like to mention biases a lot in my channel. But I have to say that Minji has been my bias. Minji is my bias, but Heron is a really close number one. I consider her my bias wrecker, but sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe Heron's my favorite. So it kind of interchanges between those two because I think they're both just really likable to watch and have their unique charms about them and I kind of like members that are a little more chill but have hidden talents
I'm sure I have to put this new jeans photo card in a slot sometime if I remember where it originally went. The inspiration cards just at the side over there for now. Curly haired heading. I guess I could just put this in this slot, but in the future updates, I know this is going to get moved around. Now I'll be moving my New Jeans Honey photo card collection into this Vault X Just Pink Nine Pocket Side Loading Zip Binder. And I actually use this for my Irene album collection, but because Honey's Powerpuff Girls color is pink and her stage costume for the new jeans performance was pink i just decided to put her in this binder but with the new release of the mint green binder by vault x i may transfer her into there just because in the bunnies camp bio she mentioned that mint might be her favorite color and member colors aren't solid in new jeans like it could always change for example the Line Friends collaboration. There's like these new talking rabbits, talking bunnies for each member and the color is just always changing. Like I think this time Danielle's Line Friends bunny is green. So it doesn't really matter what you choose if you're gonna try to choose binders based off member colors. But this is a really beautiful binder and I've had good experiences with it with my um, long-standing Red Velvet Irene collection and I felt like my cards have been the most secure in that and I always enjoy like opening it up flipping through it and it just feels like really good quality. And what I like about Vault X and Ultra Pro is that their side loading pages. It makes you feel like no dust will get through the top, like how you feel when you store the photo cards in three ring binders. And I do feel like these Vault X binders are a little thicker. These pockets are a bit thicker. So for my Red Boba Irene binder, I use both Ultra Pro and Vault X. I use Vault X for her album photo cards and um, Ultra Pro for the non-album photo cards. And I usually like getting the binders that are in kind of pastel colors. So just hearing that Vault X recently dropped a mint binder color. I have plans for either moving this, moving Hani's photo cards into the mint binder or possibly moving my Twice Mina cards into the mint binder because I think that's her member color too, right? And my Twice Mina photo cards are in a three ring binder still. And I feel like the pages don't look that sleek. So when you look at your photo card collection, you kind of want it to look clean and uniform and well displayed and I feel like side loading pages do that job more despite not being able to see the back side of it but it's I think it's a sacrifice that's worth it. Actually, for Hani photo cards, I like this one. She looks really cute. And I really wanted this photo card when um, 
it first came out. I think this broadcast card is so cute. And even if you look at the photo shoot of her in this outfit and with those stickers on her face um, from the first EP, it's just really cute photos of Hani. She has such positive energy, her and Danielle. They're kind of similar in that sense. And if you watch her performances when she's singing with the guitar or ukulele, ukulele, um, definitely a multi-talented idol. So yeah, pretty awesome. Okay, these fit well. That's the Honey photo card transfer. Now I'm gonna transfer Danielle and Hayen's photo cards into this white Ultra Pro binder. And you could say white is kind of like the color of the bunnies logo. So I'll probably separate them by midpoint. So the first half of this binder will be Danielle and the Later half will be Hain, but eventually when they release more, when New Jeans releases more music, I'm gonna have to separate them as well. So I think for Danielle, I would have to find a yellow binder, yellow or orange binder, if I were to stick to the Powerpuff Girls color. And for Hain, it should be a purple binder, but it may change because I feel like white is fine too, since it kind of represents that Toki logo. Pretty sure this was in back of another card so that these could have been in one row. But since this is only one sided, some cards are gonna be pushed down. I'll go ahead and put the super shy broadcast photo card into the slot. It's close enough. Because next are these purple photo cards, purple hue photo cards. Actually, I think I should have put this over here. It'll temporarily go there. Okay, here's the last few photo cards. So I transferred Danielle's photo cards. Um, I guess we could put hands over here, starting at this midpoint. I'm gonna place this super shy broadcast card in the center because the rest of these are pretty similar. It's all in the same costume, just a slightly different angle of her face. And there will be more photo cards from that other training card pack that was released by, I think, Line. Okay, that's the Danielle and Hayen binder transfer. Next up, I'm gonna transfer Espa Winter's photo cards into this Vault X White Edition nine pocket binder. And it came in a different box from the other ones, so I think it's worth just Taking a look. This was packaged so nicely. Like that. And it's a no brainer. I chose white for winter because of her name. And I'll probably put snowflakes or something in the front or the snowman that she usually draws. Ooh. Ooh, this one's different. So it really is all white. It's kind of cool. I was actually expecting black backloaded pages, but this is a refreshing change. But I realized that there's also non-album photo cards, so I might have to do the same thing I did for the last binder and 
just find the halfway point and put the non-album photo cards there. But in the case that that fills up too, I'm gonna have to get another binder for winter. Because although I did slow down on her photo card collection a little bit, um, when there's random packs, random packs or like random pulls and albums, it still adds on. So it's important to just make sure you have the storage space for all your photo cards that you may pull or purchase. I kind of like this. It's like a nice change just having like a white backing. It looks really good. It kind of gives like more, it's like showcasing the photo card more by having a white backing so that you don't see anything in the back. It's just the photo card and the photo card only. Nice. I do feel like these pages might feel a little more thinner or maybe maybe it's different material from the other Vault X binders. But I am really liking the change. The SM shareholder report or it was somewhere they announced that Espa is going to have a full length album so I definitely might have to consider getting a second binder for winter if the pulls add on so right over here if you can see the pile it's separated this is non-album photo cards so right now I'm just putting away her album cards. There's no shortage of photo cards. Let me just say that. These were from the girls event, girls album event where you buy a certain number of albums, then there's a chance of getting like this hollow card over here and these unreleased selfies. They always say it's unreleased selfies. That's just a way to continue to boost those album sales. We see you, SM. But of course, as a diehard fan of these of these groups, you kind of want to get it. You want to support them, right? I'm just a cog in the machine. It's definitely worth it to be an ESPA fan. And they come to the U.S. a lot because they're still in their active years. So they do come to USA a lot. I heard that Camp LA got postponed because of the floods over here. If you're a US fan or if you're willing to travel to LA, eventually they'll be here again. I went to their Hyperline tour in LA a couple months ago and I really liked the energy of the crowd and they're just really great performers. So I'm waiting for the chance to see New Jeans in concert. They were at Lollapalooza, but that's kind of like far from my state and I couldn't take time to go all the way there. So I'm hoping to see them in a concert in California one of these days. Back to SM, but there's a lot of announcements about SM artists. So Hyoyeon from Girls' Generation is gonna tour in the US, so I was surprised to see that. I know she's a DJ. She made a name for herself as a DJ. So if Hyoyeon is coming to the US, hopefully um, a lot of the other SM artists can make it over here too. But um, definitely Espa will be here. I haven't done the photo card binder update of drama photo cards, drama alluring. I was pronouncing it wrong, completely wrong in my inboxing. But yeah, that, um, the newest season's greetings, I have a few winter cards. I didn't buy the season's greetings pack itself because those are pricey. So eventually I'll have to hunt for like the set of each member that the set of photo cards that was included. But when you search for season's greetings cards, it's just so messy because there's so many pre-order cards and then 
um, merchandise cards. So it's hard to tell which one is like the original season's greetings cards that were included in the package. So even I don't know how they look like. At least for 2024. I'm putting away 2023 season's greetings right now, but I'm referring to 2024 season's greetings. Oh yeah, and then there's Pink Christmas. I don't think I have any 2023 winter Pink Christmas photo cards. I'll have to look for that in the future. So it's a lot of photo card collections to juggle around. Okay, right now, I guess it's anniversary. I'm sure I organized this a certain way, but it's gonna look a little crazy. SM Global Shop um, light stick card and actually SM Global Shop is closing in a few days so shocking so I wonder if there's like good discounts if you were to try to get like SM merch if there was any good discounts on SM Global Shop but the last time I checked it looked sold out but it's understandable okay now these makeup cards, Clio cards. Her birthday photo card. I think there was one released this year too. Oh, and Valentine's Cafe card. It's actually Valentine's Day today. 2024 as of filming this so trying to get this done before valentine's day plans later but i really wonder if okay i saw nct and rise and maybe another group had valentine's day merch that was released like they dropped it on valentine's day so yeah they know the fans will buy it because we're all dedicated to our certain groups and we want to expand our collections and save money to spend it to get these beautiful photo cards of our favorites. So I really wonder if any of the girl groups are going to have Valentine's Day stuff too or if it's, you know, they're just like, oh, we got to only the boy groups. Okay, that's the final photo cards. These are my pulls from the Hyperline tour in US. I happened to get three of them. So that was the winter binder update. I really liked how it looked. It's like a nice change from the other ones, other binders I have. And my last binder update will be for my Red Velvet Irene Season's Greetings cards. It's gonna be transferred into this Vol X nine pocket zip binder. And I got it because of the color. It's purple. It's like a nice rich color. Colors are beautiful. So starting with Season's Greetings 2016. I'm also expanding a lot on my Irene photo cards. I'm trying to make it neat neatly uniform so I may be expanding it into rows or pages in full of similar photo cards. And this last page is pretty much going to be prep for Season's Greetings 2024. I have a lot of photo cards to put away. So, um, just so I know where to put things, I'm gonna put at least one, one type of photo card and then fill it out in the photo card binder update video later. But there's actually a lot of 
Seasons Greetings 2024 photo cards of Irene that I need to search for. Um, there's like a unit card with her and Silky. Oh no. <laughs> this somehow got caught in that pile. I'll have to put it away. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of trading cards, pre-order benefit cards to put away and to get eventually. I think I want to keep this for like her pink look and maybe the next pages will be of her with this black and white outfit. This is the SM Town pre-order benefit and the photo cards that were included in the actual season's greetings kit. Okay, that's gonna be the Irene season's greetings photo card binder in here. So I'll just put this here for now. And those are my photo card binder transfers.